This is a 3D printed wire connector. It's the first of its kind to be fully 3D printed without needing any external parts for it to work properly. I spent a ton of time testing and creating iterations for this set of connectors, but the end result is impressive. It's stronger than a solder connection, and in fact, it's so strong that the wire itself tends to break before the connection does. So how does it work? The idea behind it is pretty simple. A compliant plastic lever would slip over the wire and cinch down mostly on the insulation rather than the copper wiring itself. As for the electrical connection, the old twisty method should last as long as the two ends of the wires don't move. A little bump in the center also helps clamp down on the twisted connection, preventing it from coming undone. The compliancy of the plastic that makes the lever work in the first place is also an issue when you need to maintain a consistent and robust clamping force along the wire. But by creating a much more rigid cylindrical shell, we can then force the entire clamp into it, which will then compress this class 2 lever into its closed position by applying a constant force inwards along its length. In the end, I made the entire assembly a screw-in connection as that not only creates leverage but also makes the connection resistant to pulling forces, which would be the main force acting on a connection like this one. Now, how do you actually use this thing? First, strip the ends of the wires that you want to connect together. Then, pry open the lever so that the opening becomes just big enough for the wire to go through. Be careful of prying the lever open too fast now, young blood, or else the lever may just snap and break instead of bending open. You then want to thread one of the wires through the lever and housing, and then twist the two wires together to form the electrical connection. Once that is done, clamp down on the connection with the lever screw, making sure that both wires are positioned where the twisted electrical connection aligns with the center bump. Finally, while holding the lever clamp closed, you twist the entire thing into the housing, which should leave you with a very, very secure joint between the two wires. To test this 3D printed joint against an actual soldered connection, I first had to print out a custom fat housing piece just to hold on to some weights. I then made all the necessary connections, including the solder and even some heat shrink on there just for good measure. When tested, the solder connection held up to about 5 pounds, but broke when I added a metal nut of unknown mass. The connector held up to the same 5 pounds plus 2 of the same metal nuts of unknown mass, but as I ran out of nuts of unknown mass, I had to replace it with a single 2.5 pound weight, which then caused the wire to snap. I also made and printed these custom lever screws just to hold on to the multimeter leads so that I could test if the conductivity of the 3D printed connection was affected under tension. 0.4 ohms. The whole system here was put together with these 3D printed connectors and it's pretty strong. No glue, no tape, nothing but the force of the lever screw clamping against the wires. And yeah, even with 5 pounds of tension acting on the system, the resistance and therefore the conductivity didn't really change, which is a pretty good thing. I also designed two tools to make the process a whole lot easier. The first tool, made out of two pieces, acts kind of like padding to sandwich the lever screw together that not only provides grip but also makes holding the lever screw closed a much easier task. The second tool is this clamp. It's just a wrench-like thing, uh, provides grip and leverage when you're threading the whole thing together. Once you've threaded it in a bit, the housing actually does most of the work in holding the lever screw closed, which allows you to use the second side of the padding tool to thread the rest of the lever screw all the way in. Now, I made a set of different lever screws for different wire sizes. Instead of just making one version and letting people scale it according to their needs, I chose to model the set for increased flexibility. If you want something smaller and your printer can handle the details, you could take a screw lever with a larger diameter bore and scale it down to your wire size. On the contrary, if you find the parts are too small for your printer to print reliably, you could choose a lever screw with a smaller bore and then scale it up to your wire size. Aside from printer limitations, having a range of lever screw sizes allows you to choose between printing connectors that are either bigger and more robust or smaller and more compact depending on your needs. To scale the parts to your wire size, simply measure your wire diameter, 
choose a suitable lever screw and divide your wire diameter by the chosen lever screw's bore size. That will be your scaling factor. Then import all your parts into the slicing software of choice and scale all the parts by your calculated factor. After this, you should be good to go, but make sure you keep the scaling factor on hand as if you ever need to reprint a tool or part, you'll need to scale everything by the same factor to ensure compatibility. The provided set of lever screws is the smallest my printer can print while maintaining functionality, and for that reason, I'd generally recommend scaling it up rather than scaling them down. Finally, while making this video, I realized that this thing can also act as insulation and strain relief for an actual solder connection as well, so I made a modified set of these lever screws without the center bump to give space for the soldered connection. I've only tested this on my own printer thus far, so I have no idea if it would work as well as it did for other people as it did for me, so please give it a try, let me know how it works, and if there's anything that could be improved. As a disclaimer, I wouldn't recommend using these for any high-powered applications. Use your good judgment and keep it temporary when you can. With that being said, thank you so much for sticking around all the way to the end of the video. And if you found the idea interesting, give this video a like to help it reach more people. Anyways, if I do decide to make anything else, I'll see you until I do. But till then, bye bye.